spot, the robotic dog has created controversy here in New York City. The 70-pound, four-legged robot equipped with cameras, lights, two-way communication, and artificial intelligence joined members of the NYPD when they responded to a domestic dispute at a NYCHA complex in Kipps Bay back in 2021. I've never seen nothing like this before in my life. But experts say deploying the $74,000 robot to a NYCHA complex was the wrong move. They went into a public housing facility with the spot robot at the time that Black Lives Matter was really gaining traction in the U.S. And so we were questioning the police, talking about defunding the police, and here they show up with a rather expensive toy and they enter a public housing facility. So I think it was a bad decision, bad place, bad time. The NYPD took a lot of heat, so much so they were forced to cancel the rollout. There's the design of the dog itself, and it's pretty imposing when you look at its form factor. And the way it moves is, a lot of people have said is creepy. Spot not only creeped out folks, but it raised privacy concerns. The dog was purchased from a robotics company, Boston Dynamics. The same company, plus five others, have written an open letter promising not to weaponize the robots. The the letter states, we pledge that we will not weaponize our advanced mobility general purpose robots or the software we develop that enables advanced robotics and will not support others to do so. You'll notice it's a pledge, right? So there's no real teeth in it in terms of responsibility that is uh, able to be enforced in any sort of legal sense. Professor Keith Taylor of John Jay College says these robotic dogs are not spying or invading anyone's privacy. NYPD has been using robots for over 50 years to save lives. He says he understands how they can make people uncomfortable. I think that the newness as well as the negative associations based on shows that are popular, that this robot appear as some sort of villain that has uh, contributed to this uh, psychological concern. Professor Taylor, who is a former NYPD detective, says the NYPD would never weaponize a robot, saying it would be a legal battle. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.